Hello and welcome back to another Transformers Revenge of the Fallen throwback figure review. In today's review, I'm going to be reviewing the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Easy Legends Class Devastator. This was a set of seven constructor cons that was released back in 2009. All of these figures are in the Legion slash Legends Class scale and all of them have free modes, both robot mode and vehicle mode, as well as their own individual Devastator limb mode. For characters such as Overload and Scrapper, this was actually their first time ever getting an action figure until the announcement of the Studio Series version. In this review, I'll very briefly go over the robot modes and vehicle modes of each of them as well as showcasing the transformation from either modes and then I'll transform and combine them all into Devastator. So kicking things off we'll take a look at Mixmaster who I personally believe is the leader of the Constructicons just as he looks the most awesome in his vehicle mode and he is the most integral head component of Devastator. As you can see he is a very faithful looking cement truck mixer. Considering his size he definitely has got loads of detail. I love the little Decepticon signias on the cylindrical section at the top with this really nice silver paint app going all the way around the base. We've got a Decepticon purple paint app for the windows of the front of the cab as well as some nice detailing such as the lights as well as the grill section and all of the wheels can in fact roll on really nice pin joints. You can also make out some details such as a ladder as well as various other cement mixer components of obviously where the cement would pour out and pour into these into whatever it was going into. Let's get this figure transformed from his alt form into his robot mode. To begin with I haven't transformed these figures in some time so please do excuse me if I am rather rusty on the transformation I do believe that it did go somewhat like this I believe that this whole section then spins around and snaps into place what you're then supposed to do is bring these arms out and then this whole section here is supposed to rotate around to the back and there you've got the arms of Devastator these sections here are on ball joints so you can bring those around if you so choose as well and then bring these around also and just have those rest along the arms and then fold down the legs. This section here unfortunately just hung out on the back so you do have Devastator's head as the bum of Mixmaster which is quite an interesting look. But here we have Mixmaster in his robot mode and considering his minute size I definitely think that Hasbro did quite a good job of replicating his appearance from the Revenge of the Fallen movie. As you can see the cement mixer does split up into the four components on the shoulders and on the sides of the arm which is very accurate. The head sculpt is slightly off it doesn't look like what we see in the movie and the paint apps on my eyes are slightly dodgy but you can see that he does have orange paint apps for the eyes there's no detailing of sorts in the chest or around the figure whatsoever he is incredibly basic but you can pick out some detailings as fingers on either side of the hands in order to give some definition to the sculpt so a really cool nice looking mix master in terms of articulation these sections are on hinge joints and I do believe you're supposed to snap them together for this mode as well just so that you can have full range of motion of the ball joints for the elbow joints and the legs are also on ball joints as well so that's that just about wraps it up for Mixmaster. Now transforming this figure into the Devastator head mode can be rather fiddly due to all of the panels. I believe that you're supposed to reverse these and have them sit along this section just like so. What you can then do is take this whole piece here and bring this all the way around so that the head is now here. You can bring these pieces together and tab those in and then it's just a matter of lining all of this up at the back. So tab that into place and the head just rests there just like so. And then with this whole section here, I do believe that these are just supposed to hang out on the back just like that for when you actually clip him in. But there is Mixmaster converted into Devastator's head. The next figure we'll take a look at is Decepticon Demolisher slash Scavenger. And as you can see, I really think that this figure has also been detailed incredibly well and definitely resembles what we saw in the movie. He has four wheels, these two smaller ones, and then the two massive ones of the robot mode combined into this rather larger one. And it this to me really resembles what we're going to be seeing on the Studio Series version. He does have some articulation such as this hinge here for the scoop and as you can see it's been given a really nice white paint app in order to make it very authentic looking. We've got some Decepticon insignias as well as some white stripes on either side of the vehicle mode. We've got some nice detailings in the interior of the treads and we can also pick out where the cockpit section would be with a door and a window also picked out in a white paint app. In order to convert this into Demolisher slash Scavenger I've got to be rather transparent and say it's been a very long time since I've converted this so I do believe I'll probably be fairly rusty on the conversion of this but I believe you pull these wheels out and then pull this out 
rotate these sections around just like so and there you essentially have the arms and head then what you're supposed to do here is take one of these wheels and they are on these joints that you're supposed to collapse down upon themselves just like so and then do the same for this one as well and lift that one up and then lift this one down and i think that these sections are just supposed to sit out on the back just like so and there we essentially have demolisher slash scavenger in his really awesome looking robot mode now quite honestly i actually think that scavenger is probably one of the strongest in terms of a robot mode he really does resemble what we see in the movie and these two larger wheels can in fact roll which was something that was absent on the voyager class version from revenge of the fallen they were rather stiff on that figure or however on this legends class they are actually extremely free roll as you can see he's got a magnificent looking head sculpt, very insectoid in its design with yellow eyes and a really nice gunmetal silver for the main mouthpiece as well as the sides. We've also got some nice detailing for the arms here and once again you can utilise these hinges to move the arms and you can also utilise these joints here on mushroom joints in order to give him some arm articulation. So that's a really awesome looking figure. Now to convert him into the devastator mode it is more or less this, however you're just going to want to fold the arms in just like so take these sections here and I do believe that you're going to want to have these pushing those out on both sides you're just going to want to have these wheels grouped together and then perhaps bring those up we can finalize this more when we actually get down to converting but this will slide in and I do believe that this is somewhat what it's supposed to look like but once again we'll take a detailed look at the transformation when we get into combining Devastator the next figure I'm going to be taking a look at is Decepticon Overload a figure that we still haven't got a mainline release of yet however 2020 will hold a mainline release for this character as you can see is a really elongated looking construction vehicle and I think that this whole section here has been detailed really nicely you've got the bed where obviously it would cart around all of the debris or perhaps components you've got a Decepticon insignia at the top and he's been cast in this really dark very nice looking red plastic it definitely does look very Decepticon-ish and we've got the faux wheel as well as these two real rolling wheels which can in fact roll on pins to convert him into robot mode it is rather simplistic however he's probably one of the more complex ones you're going to want to pull out the arms pull this section down just like so and then come here and flip those out what you're then going to want to do is take this here and just lift that up just like so and then with these sections here you can pull these out on either side and there effectively I do believe that we do have overload in his robot mode now a rather very simplistic looking transformation and definitely isn't one of the most involved looking robots he definitely doesn't look anything like the concept art but considering he never appeared in the movie I'll let Hasbro pass on this one as you can see he's got rather a generic looking head sculpt it looks more like a Dinobots head sculpt from Age of Extinction than a Constructor Con but you can pick out some nice detailings here on the arms there are some hollow pieces obviously to break up the sculpt however there are no hands of sorts or nor feet and the figure does look rather basic in order to convert him into the devastator component I do believe you're supposed to split the legs just like so and then with these sections here I believe that they're supposed to come up like that and then perhaps this section here is supposed to go over I'm really not too sure however once we get them combined I'm sure I'll have a much more clearer vision of how this is all supposed to go the next figure we'll take a look at is Constructicon long haul and as you can see his dumpster truck alt mode 2 is incredibly detailed with loads of different detailings in the front section as well as on the side we've got lovely Decepticon insignias on one side and then on the back we've got Hasbro and some legal information on the back there really isn't much detail you can pick out where the bed of this whole piece is this doesn't articulate like the Voyager class version however the wheels are on very thick pins and can roll incredibly well this figure actually has one of the most superior looking robot modes out of all of the constructor cons so just unpegging all of this and then taking this section here this does detach as well and then you're supposed to fold out the arms I do believe that these sections here are supposed to hinge down or something of the sort hinge down like so and then hinge down here and just fold those out and then you can flip these toes out just like so and then the back section is just supposed to compress and here we have long haul in his robot mode definitely the most accurate looking robot mode for me from this easy collection as you can see he's got a phenomenal looking head sculpt with loads of detailing particularly in the chest area he really really does look very very impressive in terms of articulation he doesn't really have much the legs can kick forwards and backwards and that's roughly about it and you can hinge the arms out to the sides in order to convert him into his devastator limb mode you've got to essentially collapse these sections 
settings in just like so as this will become the base of the foot rotate this section around now and then what you're supposed to do is take this and fold that out to the back take these legs here and peg them together just like so and there you have devastator's leg fully transformed ready for conversion the next figure i'll be taking a look at is decepticon hightower now this was a character that only recently we got a deluxe class figure of so this was the figure that's kept us company for the last 10 years as you can see it's a very interesting looking construction vehicle i'm really quite surprised at the level of detailing of all of these different hydraulic sections that obviously hold this top crane into place something which was unfortunately absent on the studio series version this hook section is in fact articulated and if you disengage this you can actually move this back and forth and there are four caster wheels on the base allowing you to roll in order to convert him he is rather simple in terms of his transformation as well you're essentially just meant to pull him out just like this and then collapse this section in you're meant to then pull these legs out and these are really up to your own interpretation you can have them out like so or i do believe that there is a way for you to maneuver them so that they are like this and then repeat the same process now for this side and then you can take this whole section here and I do believe that this is supposed to clip onto the top but there we have Hightower in his robot mode very obscure looking and not very reminiscent of his deluxe class self but nevertheless I actually really like how this cage section is trapped under his head and you can pick out some details such as these small T-Rex-esque type of arms I really like how these treads become the legs much like on the deluxe version however in this case the crane is just hanging out on the back so it really isn't much of a weapon for Hightower to use at all. In order to convert him into his Devastator limb mode, you're supposed to take this section here and just open this up just like so. This does become the main hand. And then these pieces here are really up to your own interpretation. You can leave those out or you can in fact take these and rotate those like so. And then take these, make that flush and rotate this around just like so and then with this whole section here if i unclip this section you can then take this and fold this section in and then clip that back into place and there we more or less have high towers arm mode for the devastator combined mode once again i'll neaten it up more when we begin to actually combine these figures second to last here we have decepticon rampage here we have rampage in his yellow color scheme as opposed to the red color scheme once again he too is a really nice looking construction vehicle all of these legend class devastator components really were pretty detailed he too has got four caster wheels and this section here unfortunately cannot hinge up but it can hinge down due to transformation talking of transformation you're effectively going to want to split this section here and then take these and then pull this whole section away from the body so just pull this and loosen this all up just like so and then flip this upwards and then with this here you can pull these out pull this out as well and then this whole section here can come down and then you're supposed to take this section here and flip this upwards and then this whole piece here you can kind of angle it so that it looks as if though he's got a jackhammer and there you effectively have rampage in his robot mode once again quite a nice looking decepticon robot mode you can see that the pogo stick here is here however you can flip these down if you want him to be more stable and pose him along the ground the arms are pretty cool as well you can hinge these pieces out in whatever way you so choose and he actually has got a really nice looking head sculpt with some fantastic pain apps particularly in the eyes now in order to convert him he does become the foot of devastator so you're just going to want to collapse this down just like so this whole section here will hinge down and then you can pull this down as well what you're supposed to do is take these pieces here and bits do pop off due to them being on ball joints so just snap that back into place you're supposed to take these here and bring those down and around and repeat the same process now for this side and i do believe that these are supposed to just tab here for the knees but there you effectively have devastator's left leg in its completed form and then taking a look at the final figure, here we have Decepticon Scrapper. Now this is actually one of my favourite looking construction vehicles. There are so many nice detailing such as the steps that lead up here as well as the stairwell. We've got some nice mechanical components on the top as well as the blue cockpit. You can pick out this section which due to the ball joints they can in fact hinge up and down. He's got four pinned wheels which look really really nice and in order to convert him you just separate these pieces just like so once again i do apologize if the transformation does appear to be rather shoddy it's been a very long time since i have converted this figure but then i do believe that you separate these sections here and pull those up pull the head back 
and then flip these toes around on both sides. And here we have Scrapper in his robot mode, looking really, really cool as well. Once again, we never got a deluxe class Scrapper in the Revenge of the Fallen toy line, so this was the only figure that we had for many, many years. As you can see, he's quite interesting in his design, particularly in these hands, and he's also got quite a sinister looking head sculpt. In order to convert him into his Devastator limb mode, I do believe that he is more or less having him in his vehicle mode. You're supposed to bring all of these components back together and then bring this down as well on both sides and stabbing those into place and then i do believe that it is more or less something along the lines of this perhaps these sections are supposed to go up but i do believe that that is how the hand of devastator is supposed to look so without further ado let's combine all of devastator's components and now bringing in all of the components for devastator we can really begin transforming him to begin with i want to take this section which is supposed to take these pieces here and pull those in and then i do believe that this whole section here is supposed to come forwards just like so and then with this section at the back perhaps that you should pull this out and then these are supposed to come down and then tab these back into place and then I do believe that that is how the torso area for Devastator is supposed to look at least on overload then what we can do here is take long haul and peg his leg into place just like so and then we can take rampage and what we'll do here is take this and make sure that this joint here sits more flush so take this here and plug this in also and make sure everything is aligned and now what we can do is begin to see that I was completely wrong with the transformation the foot is supposed to be out this way and then with this section here it's supposed to be brought round and then this is supposed to be straightened out take this section here and then bring this forwards as well and tab these together and these become sort of the knee look for devastator rotate this around now as well and then just collapse this on a hinge and there we have devastator's lower region basically fully transformed and then perhaps position him like this and try again to slide this all in and that works a lot better as you can see these wheels will snap into this back section and i do believe now we can take this and actually peg that in there and it will just separate the wheels for a more transformed look and then pull these out ensuring that these have been fully tucked under and now what we can do is take Hightower and just plug him into place there really is no official transformation for Hightower you can really pose him around in whatever way you so choose and taking Scrapper now we can peg him in here as well and once again it is really up to your own interpretation on how you want the fingers displayed and then we'll take the final component which is of course devastator's head and then these two slots here will plug into these two tabs here so just align this up just like so and snap that all into place and then take these and wrap this around this cylindrical section and there we more or less have the easy legends class revenge of the fallen devastator completed in his fully transformed devastator robot mode so here we have the core robot mode and i've got to say that it looks absolutely fantastic i have had a slight mess around and mistransform scrapper's arm ever so slightly just to give him more of a four-fingered look and i've tampered around with scrap metal slightly as well to make his look more cleaner to match what we see in the studio series but this is an incredibly detailed figure as you can see the figure has got a fantastic looking head sculpt it is very reminiscent of the devastator design we appear to have a silver wash over the grey and the green eyes and green mouth do look really really nice with some fantastic detailing such as teeth in there as well. I like how they've given it this subtle green hue in the centre section obviously to simulate where the cement mixer would churn up anything that Devastator would inhale and taking a look at the back I really like how this all transforms and comes together as well. He definitely does look really really faithful to what we see in the movie and I think that all of the limbs as well actually do look really really cool particularly if you transform the arms in this configuration and the legs definitely make for very convincing components you could probably squat these down ever so slightly more if you wanted to as well to give him a more squat appearance but he is not that poseable unfortunately the head can hinge on this joint as well as look left to right on a ball joint these sections here are able to rotate forwards and backwards and you can swivel these joints as well as hinge these up and down however due to the 
weight. The pin joints don't really hold them. You can swivel these sections here and just get some slight hinges out of the base of the feet. But I actually think that this figure displays better as a display piece and definitely does look really, really awesome. And for comparison, here we have the Easy Legends class Devastator. Compared next to both the Human Alliance Skids as well as the Human Alliance Mudflap, both of Devastator's arch nemesis. As if you've seen in the movie, these three all actually have a fight and it's actually one of the more enjoyable scenes from the Revenge of the Fallen movie. As you can see, he is roughly the same size as Skids if you count this top cylindrical section. However, if you were to count a face-to-face, -face, he comes to more of Skids' crutch, which if you've seen the movie, I'm sure Skids would definitely enjoy. And the same goes for Mudflap as well. He is roughly the same size as Mudflap, so really does scale more with your Legends class figures. I even would say he's probably even too small for those. But in terms of a look, I definitely think that he looks really, really cool. And he's definitely a really fun figure to have upon the shelf. So that was my throwback review on the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Easy Legends Class Devastator 7 Constructor Con set. I really hope that you enjoyed this throwback review. I do apologise if some of the segments seem rather messy. As stated, this figure is 10 years old, so I do have to be rather cautious of the joints, not to push them too hard in case I break them. However, I hope that eventually I showed you how to transform this figure correctly. As you could tell, I think that the figure looks great in all three of his modes. I think he's got some really strong looking vehicle modes. Some of the robot modes are absolutely incredible for their minute size and the Devastator mode is definitely a really nice detailed piece. This is by far the most detailed Devastator figure that we've got, surpassing the more expensive Supreme class version and I'm sure that the Studio Series version will definitely lend creative license from this figure and take some of the design cues that this figure has and implement it into a much more grander scale as seeing as that figure will be based on deluxe voyager and leaders if you enjoyed this review please let me know down in the comment section below with 2019 coming to a close i definitely want to get more of these revenge of the fallen look back videos out so be sure to let me know down in the comment section what figures you'd like me to take a look at before the 10th anniversary of revenge of the fallen comes to a close thanks for watching